So for many years though, you know, when you run the course on Bloomsday, Bloomsday officials, they obviously go and make sure, you know, things are tidied up and whatnot. But I actually had a phone call with John Neal, the executive race director earlier this week, and he told me, you know, I was out with my kids running Doomsday Hill and I noticed something different. That retaining wall that normally has like kind of graffiti on it, which is really unfortunate. Someone has actually taken it upon themselves to cover it up and turn graffiti into art. Nicole Hernandez went to check that out and found out out what they're painting on Doomsday Hill. So Bloomsdayers are going to be back to walking and running Doomsday Hill here, just like the decades of races before this. But check it out. There's going to be a brand new thing for them to look at along the way. With just some paint and hours of work, local artists Kane and Todd Benson are transforming this graffiti stained retaining wall. We painted this as Garfield. Your typical lazy cat laying and looking over the most strenuous spot on the Bloomsday course. Just we saw the look of how he's just kind of going to be the guy who's just laissez faire on watching all the Bloomsdayers walk up, you know. The brothers are working 12 hour days painting to get as much done as possible before Sunday. This is home to us. We love being here. And they've created a good system together. We break it into a grid line system. When you're this close, you have to grid it so that you're more accurate. From this close on a wall this big, the paint looks like random splotches. But take a step back and there he is. He's hanging under, hanging in these plants and just kind of checking everyone out. Just like any cat would do. Sit and watch. The goal is to have it somewhat make people smile when they come up that day for sure. It's already starting to work. We've had lots of people coming up saying they're happy it's just covered, you know, not looking like a blank wall. This lazy cat bringing a better energy to Doomsday Hill. Kane and Todd have been working on the mural for five days now. They say it takes seven to ten days total to complete this one specifically. That means Bloomsdayers will be able to potentially watch them paint throughout the race. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Prime 2 News.